Hello and welcome to another Ask the Expert video from Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt. I'm Nigel Calder. And uh, today we're going to talk about ways to parallel your batteries, or actually the best way to parallel your batteries, because there's multiple ways, and because many ways in which we see batteries being paralleled may actually reduce their lifetime quite significantly. So, what's your take on that, Nigel? Yes. Um, so, let's say, uh, for argument's sake, we've got three batteries that we've parallel so we've connected the positive to the positive to the positive mm -hmm. and then the negative to negative to negative um, there are multiple ways that you can come off the batteries to the boat's house systems you can come off the end battery the positive and negative on one battery into mm -hmm. the house systems you could come off the positive on one end, end of the bank and the negative on mm -hmm. the other end you could come off the middle bank mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what you do there's some resistance in all the uh, conductors connecting things together. If you come off the one end of the bank, mm. which is how I see lots of installations mm -hmm. on new boats straight from the boat builder, the battery that's connected closest to the house systems is doing most of the work. Mm -hmm. And then because of the even minute resistances in the connecting links, the one at the other end of the bank is not working nearly as hard. Mm -hmm. So this one is going to get hotter because it's working harder. And because it's getting hotter, it'll accept more charging current and it'll deliver more current mm -hmm. and it'll get hotter still. Mm -hmm. And so then it works even harder mm -hmm. because when batteries are warm, they work harder. So we have somewhat but, like a vicious circle. Right, we get into a vicious circle and the net result is it, it kills all the batteries prematurely. Mm -hmm. So for, for decades, actually, um, we've recommended, including myself, that you come off one end of the bank with a positive and the mm -hmm. other with a negative. Uh, but then uh, two or three years ago, uh, Rob Warren of Coastal Climate Control in Annapolis, who's uh, terrific for air conditioning and, mm -hmm. and refrigeration and so on, did some experiments with five batteries in parallel mm -hmm. with different wiring configurations off the ends, off one end, off mm -hmm. the middle, uh, and measured all the current flows in and out of the batteries on mm -hmm. charge and discharge, uh, and found even if we do it this way or we come off the middle, there's still significant differences in the amount of work the batteries mm -hmm. are doing. Um, the answer to this is we have to set up a bus bar or a terminal post off the battery, one for mm -hmm. the negative, one for the positive, mm -hmm. and then we have to measure the longest distance to a battery terminal post, mm -hmm. and then we have to make all the conductors the same length, Okay. Yeah. and then we come up to that single point, and then we've got equal resistances in all of the mm -hmm. conductors and the connections mm -hmm. to each battery, and then all the batteries do basically the same amount of work, mm -hmm. and uh, I think in the future um, we're going to move much more to doing that. Right now, I don't know a single boat builder mm -hmm. that does that, but that's the way to protect the batteries yeah. and get yeah. the most life expectancy out of them. Yeah. Well, that's some interesting insights. So in case you're rewiring your boat, you should definitely do that. I mean, it's the only thing you need an extra is, a, is one bus bar for each post. Yes, if, and, if uh, it's uh, up to four batteries, no, actually three, mm -hmm. you're allowed four conductors to a single post. Mm -hmm. So we could have three batteries and then the conductor out mm -hmm. to the health systems, yeah. that's four. But if you've got more than three batteries, you're mm -hmm. going to need a bus bar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that we don't stack up yeah. conductors on a single post. Yeah, yeah, but even then, it's not like it's a little investment oh, for yeah. a yeah. Yeah. significant improvement of your battery life. So yes. we yeah. definitely recommend that. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about all these things and how you can parallel or serious parallel batteries, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course at Boat How To, where we talk a lot about this and also other ways in which you can uh, increase the lifespan of your batteries. So check that out and see you soon.